Yo, I'm Mnemonic and you are in control of your creativity. Welcome to another tutorial in a series of videos brought to you by BandLab. This one is all about custom MIDI mapping. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna show you how to use it to make more music. Let's go. Get out your MIDI controllers and open up BandLab. Many people wanna know how they can increase productivity and creativity. A very simple way to do that is to use less clicking and dragging of a mouse and actually push buttons and turn knobs. Here we go. Once again, I'm back in the mix editor here in the BandLab web version. If you've been following this series, not too long ago, you saw me adjust this automation that got a little crazy at the end. Before I get into all that, let me explain MIDI mappings right quick. So you can use an external controller, a keyboard, a drum pad, whatever it is, and your software can interact with hardware and you can control certain parameters quite easily and it makes making music a lot more exciting than just clicking a mouse. Custom MIDI mappings is a way for us to make sure that whatever controller that you have with BandLab you can make it work appropriately for the music that you're making. To access this feature, you simply click MIDI mappings down at the bottom right, and you'll notice certain parts of BandLab are highlighted red, and those are the parameters or buttons that you can control with your MIDI device. I added a harp track with an echo effect, and I want to control the feedback of this effect. So to do that, you simply click in BandLab, on that parameter where it's highlighted red and then if it's a slider a button a knob you move it push it whatever for this it's a knob and you'll see on the MIDI mappings box here on the right that I have a new MIDI mapping and it shows the location it's the harp feedback for the filter echo effect and it's using my launch key mini and the minimum and maximum is all the way from 0 to 100 I'm gonna close that MIDI mappings box and now when I move this knob, you'll see the feedback move as well. And this is what it sounds like. It's actually really satisfying. So much better than using a mouse. Another way that you could use custom MIDI mappings would be for a drum pad. If you wanted to reorganize the sounds to make them a little bit more comfortable to play, for example, I have these two sounds, some ad-libs. Yeah. Obviously, a must-have. I don't want those two sounds here. Yeah. I want them on the first two pads. So I'll open the MIDI mappings window back up, select that first sound, yeah. and then tap the pad that I want that sound to be on. And then the other one. And as you see on the right, those MIDI mappings have been added to my custom MIDI mappings page. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Real simple, MIDI mappings is a great way to add a little bit more control into your music making process. And if at any time you need to adjust those, you can just simply open the MIDI mappings page back up, delete them, or change the values, and you're good to go. Move sliders, turn knobs, push buttons. Before you go, hit the like button if this helped. Subscribe if you haven't already. You made it this far. Here's some more videos for you to watch. After that, go make more music. Peace.